Hey guys, welcome back to Almost Inevitable Design. And in this tutorial, what we're going to do is this is the home page, and this is actually a full screen section. And you can scroll down, and the navigation bar comes up and sticks to the top. There you go, like that. All right now, this will only work on the home page, and if you go on to other pages, you will not get that layout. All right, so there's nothing above the header on the other pages. Only when you go to the home page does this happen. Okay, and it sticks to the top really well. Cool. So let's learn how to do this. This is actually not hard at all, but you will have to do a couple of things um, because that's how it works, right? So, all right, first of all, um, go to my site and get where is it? Oh, right here. Um, get a free Divi child theme, or you can use this child theme. You can use your own child theme, and you can learn how to insert layouts yourself. Okay, so if you ins if you put this code in your um, functions PHP file, then uh, you will be able to do things like like this. You can build your own section in the uh, library, and then what you can do, oops, ah, I shouldn't have clicked that. All right, I'll go back. All right, and you can actually copy out the short code. It is, it becomes a short code, and all you need to do is just drop that short code anywhere, and it'll just pop up. It's like adding water to a layout. And I've heard a lot of people um, apply this to all their websites, all their Divi builds, and um, they really seem to like it, so it works really well. All right, so uh, once you get that done, so either install um, the free child theme that I have on my website, or take that PHP code, add it to your child theme, and it'll work. Okay, now if you don't have a child theme, use a child theme. You're gonna have to use a child theme. You have to always use a child theme. All right, now, once you make your um, child theme, right? There will be a header PHP, right? Now this is what the header PHP file looks like at the moment for this website. Okay, uh, this all this stuff you don't need to worry about any of that. What you do need to worry about, or what you do need to do, technically not worry about, but what you need to do is find. There we go. The header tag okay now that is where the header starts everything above that is different options for the header so you need to find the header tag in this case it's 232 line 232 uh, some things might have changed but hopefully it's around here it's around the bottom ish bottom third ish or so okay so uh, you need to find the header tag or you need to or you can just search uh, main header, All right? All right, that'll that'll help you find it. Okay. Now, oh, it shouldn't be two thirty two because I added this, right? So what you need to do is you're going to add this piece of code. All right. Um, it is on the on the post in the if you're watching this on YouTube, click the description, click check the description below, and it will be there will be a link for my blog post uh, for my tutorial that has this code on it. If you're on the page, then you can just copy this. And what this does is it checks if it is the front page or the home page, right? And it, if it is, then it will do this short code. And remember this, this came from right here. Now you will get a different ID number. So you can't use this exact code. You need to change it out with what you have here, the, the, the short code that you made over here, okay? Now, once you're done with this, whatever it is you do, it will turn up above the navigation. And in this case, what we want to do is we want to have a full screen section. There are many things you can do with it. For example, you can, not many things, uh, there are many things, there are many ways you can make this. For example, you can make a full width section um, like this. And you don't need to make it global or anything. Oh, uh, fun thing, fun fact, because you're getting this short code from 
from the, the, the library, it's technically a global uh, library item. So just letting you know. If you change anything there in the library, it will be applied here, okay? All right, so you can add a mod module and make a full width header if you wanted to, All right? And then I think in the full width header, there is a setting for full screen. There we go. You can do this. This is the easiest way of doing that. And you can add whatever stuff you want in here. Okay, and what you will get is a full screen module that will take up the full screen because it's a full screen module. <laughs> That's what I mean. And um, there you go, right? Now, it's, it's, you will get this, but later what you will see is if it goes around here-ish, somewhere around there, this header is gonna, this header is gonna pop up and stick to the top. Now you don't want that because it'll look, um, you know, rough. So what you want is something like this. Now it will be, um, it's it will transition technically, okay? And all you need to do is if if you're using a full screen section, you don't need to worry about the stuff I have below. All you need, all you need is just this code, okay? That's all you need. And what will happen is it will just um, the header will just glide in and it'll stick like that without any fuss, okay? So that's it. You just drop the CSS in your custom CSS um, and add the short code above the header tag and you actually have a really cool um, landing section. All right, so um, there you go. So enjoy this, and um, just before you go, I know I've explained everything. I should actually do the um, advertisements before, but just letting you know, I'm coming out with a really cool CSS course that takes you from, I don't know anything about CSS, all the way to, you know what, I can actually do this, give me a layout, I can code it, level. All right, so from total beginner to actual pretty usable professional intermediate level. And it's gonna come out very soon, so sign up for my newsletter and you'll get a special offer soon and, and all that, okay? So um, stick around and um, subscribe and all that and I'll see you around, bye-bye.